Hey guys, this is Hydra from Xtrades back with another weekly um, video. So in this video, we're going to go over um, the overall market and look at some individual tickers that have been acting um, well recently. So as usual, we'll, we'll start off with the indices. So we'll start off with the uh, SPY first. So um, here, we'll take a look at the weekly chart first. So SPY is looking really, really good here. Um, really strong week and we finally got that breakout over that 418.5 level and uh, yeah we got a really nice follow through last week and uh, yeah really good action um so let me just remove everything real quick but yeah as you guys saw before we are making a new uptrend here since uh, last october and we've been holding on to it really really well and uh, yeah so far really good action right and the other major thing that we should look out for is that we finally broke this uh, level, right? Notice how many times we rejected. We rejected here. We tried to break out, rejected. We rejected again here, and then multiple weeks of consolidation, and then we finally broke out, right? So this is very, very key. This is the first time in almost a year, or actually over a year, that uh, the SPY has finally breaking, breaking the downtrend, or broke the space essentially right so this is the start of a new uptrend for sure and um, yeah really good action overall and i think uh, the next target here would be um yeah so we already hit this uh 427 level so the next target would probably be around this uh 453 level we got a rejection here rejection here and then a rejection here so definitely 453 would be the next target and uh yeah that's a lot of upside potential right so um, yeah, definitely a lot of room to the upside here, but we want to make sure that we're consolidating and not going up too fast because then we'll get extended and we can pull back down pretty hard, right? So we want slow consolidated moves upwards. A slow grind higher would be um, the best for bulls. Now we'll take a look at QQQ. So QQQ has is way ahead of SPY. So um, let me remove everything. So this is a let me draw a better one. So this is the uptrend that QQQ has been making recently, uh, since uh, the start of this year, right? And now we're getting pretty extended here, but uh, also this is the base that I was talking about with SPY, but this is QQQ's base. So um, QQQ broke it and this way ahead, right? And now it's going to that 370 target. Um, so QQQ has all broke. It actually broke out two weeks ago, um, where the SPY only really broke out last week, right? QQQ has already been breaking out and is way ahead of uh, other tickers. So tech is very very strong, obviously, and it's been leading the last couple of weeks. But again, we want to see some healthy consolidation, um, a bull flag form, and that would be good action, right? Uh, healthy pullbacks are completely normal, especially since we're so extended right now. So. Um, yeah, definitely don't get too aggressive. Um, wait for pullbacks, wait for good by the dip opportunities, and yeah, don't get too aggressive here. But yeah, next target for the QQQ would be this uh, 370 level. But yeah, again, looks really, really good. Take a look at the daily chart. Yeah, got extended here, pulled back a little bit, and now it's back at all time or uh, 52 week highs. But yeah, really good action. But a pullback to, you would want to see a pullback more. For more consolidation around this area so 350 350 to 354 would be a good consolidation range um and ideally you want to see the indices rest and then more stocks um you want to see more growth stocks um also start turning up higher which has been happening recently actually let's take a look at arkk so arkk has also broken out out of this uh, 40.8 level so this was a really big uh, resistance level checked it here once twice tried to break out failed tried to break out here failed and then now we're finally above it again so we'll see what happens but yeah here kk is also turning up for the first time in a while so that's also good action and uh yeah a little uptrend starting here so we'll see how that goes but here kk also really good action um and yeah if growth stocks start turning up soon then they can really go um they have a lot of potential since they're so beaten down for example take a look at this uh 
the weekly chart, right? Here, KK is super, super beaten down. So if these stocks start turning up again, they, they can make a really, really big move. I'm talking double, triple, right? Um, but yeah, really, heard really good action so far. But we'll see what happens. Um, and yeah, a lot of potential for these type of stocks. Okay, now we'll take a look at the big cap. So we'll start off with uh, Apple. Apple's pretty much at all time highs, or it's almost there. So, again, really strong gap up this week and a really nice, yeah, really nice um, move to the upside. Yeah, so gapped up on Tuesday, consolidated for two days, and then on Thursday, got a really nice move up. And then on Friday, it hit resistance, but still closed pretty strong. So, really good action for uh, Apple. And uh, yeah, we have resistance at this 181 level. And uh, if that resistance can get taken out, then we should definitely see new all-time highs very soon. But Apple is very, very extended, right? Uh, look at all these green weeks. <clears throat> look at how many green weeks we have in a row. So ideally, you want to see some consolidation for the next couple weeks. And uh, if that can happen, then if Apple can consolidate and pull back a little bit and form some sort of bull flag, then I think very good chance that we'll break out and make all, uh, new all-time highs. But really good action from Apple. Next up, we'll take a look at AMD. AMD um, had a really strong gap up. And it pulled back in because it got way too extended. And now it's just consolidating. So as long as it holds... Uh, as long as it holds this 117 level, it should, be, it should be fine. But if we get below that, then it could be a, sh a short play. All the way back down to 108. Um, just a gap full play, but... AMD is holding up pretty strong, and I don't see anything wrong with it. Um, in general, all semiconductor names like NVIDIA are holding up very strong. So NVIDIA also, huge, huge gap up, huge volume. Um, got all the way up to 420, got extended, and then pulled back hard. And uh, yeah, right now it's still consolidating. So not much to say right now, but you definitely want to wait for the moving averages to catch up and uh, more consolidation since it gapped up so much, right? Let's take a look at the weekly chart. Yeah, look at how extended this stock is, right? You definitely want to wait for more consolidation and then it could be a play, but right now this would just be an avoid for me just because it's still so extended. Um, it has been consolidating for a couple days now, but still it's such a big move from earnings, so I just want to wait for more consolidation. Another uh, semiconductor name that had a really strong gap up was SMCI. Um, take a look at this weekly chart. This one's crazy, right? This one's just been on a crazy uptrend this entire year and last year too. So this is another name to keep on your uh, list. And this one's actually acting even stronger. Um, yeah, AMD is closer to its uh, gap up lows, right? For example, AMD is pretty close to its gap up lows, where this one is not even that close. It's still way above, right, compared to its gap up lows. Uh, so yeah, this one's definitely acting a lot, lot stronger, and this is one that you should definitely keep on your radar. It's a long-term play, because this one has a lot of potential, a lot of buying um, the last year, right? So a lot of institutions have been loading up into the stock, and they're not selling. So this is one that you want to pay attention to. Um, next up, we'll take a look at Tesla. Tesla has been acting really, really nice here, too. Uh, let me remove everything. So key resistance level was uh, around this 215 level, and Tesla hit that on uh, Friday. So now it's getting pretty extended because we had five days um, up. We were up five days in a row, so now you want to wait for some sort of consolidation, some pullback, and then if it can form a bull flag and then break out again, then the next target would be 234-ish. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for Tesla, but really good action recently, the last week. Uh, nice move up. Next up, Netflix. So Netflix was a really nice setup on uh, this day. On 526, it was a very good buy setup. And uh, if you bought it then, then you, you would be sitting with a, a pretty good profit right now. But it's also setting up again here, a little bull flag forming again. So if this flag gets taken out, then it can uh, continue for another leg up. And if that happens, then Netflix has no real resistance until this 464 level. So 
Netflix has a lot of room to the upside. So this one's definitely one that you want to be paying attention to. Um, yeah, it took a pretty big hit in 2022. So, yeah, so this one also has a lot of room to the upside as well. So definitely keep an eye on this one. Um, next up, we'll take a look at Microsoft. So not much to say for Microsoft, really. Uh, just like Apple has been grinding up higher and higher, and uh, it has no resistance to basically all-time highs. So 345 is the next uh, resistance level. And uh, I think we, sh we can use more consolidation just because it's been up for so many weeks in a row. Um, kept more consolidation like this year. So just a few weeks going sideways and then hit 345. And yeah, Microsoft looks pretty good. Uh, Meta also making a really big move this week. Um, yeah, this one has no resistance till 295. But again, like Microsoft and Apple, it's getting extended. So you want to see a few weeks of sideways action and then continue in another leg up to 295. Um, same thing with Google. Google has been consolidating more. So this one can hit 130 very easily. But also, yeah, Google is also acting very well. And I think this one can hit 130 very soon. Um, yeah, this one's not as extended, so it can hit that target much quicker. Okay, um, I think that's all the big cap stocks I wanted to talk about. Now we'll take a look at some individual tickers, so AI. So this has been like the hottest stock, right, recently. The AI theme has been the hottest theme as well. So uh, this one has a, had a really nice gap up and then really big volume and then pulled back in pretty hard from earnings, but it did get bought up on that day. So right now it's just uh, consolidating here. Let's take a look at the weekly chart. So it had a big base breakout and now it's consolidating. So you wanna see more consolidation because right now it is still very extended on the daily. You wanna see um, better action, right? Right now it's just going, it's, it's just pretty much went vertically up, right? So you want to wait for more consolidation, more tightening, and then this could be a good setup. But definitely one that you want to keep on your radar because this could be a good long-term play as well. So um, yeah, definitely keep this one on your radar. And in general, all AI stocks should be on your radar because that's the new theme right now. And a lot of money is flowing into those sectors. Um, okay, Carvana. This one. this one is a stock that has a lot of squeeze potential. So... When this one moves, this one can like make really, really big moves, right? So for example, from the lows, this one already, this one in the past made a 465% move, right? And just uh, recently when it gapped up to now, that's a 80, yeah, 77, 78%, but if you count to the highs, that's a 86%, right? Move. So this one has a lot of potential to make quick moves fast. So this is one that you want to keep on your radar if you're looking for a swing play. So right now, um, it's forming a low flag here. More consolidation would be good, but yeah, this one has a lot of potential and one that you want to keep your eye on for quick gains. Um, and then GLBE. So this one's forming a really nice bull flag here. Uh, here's the bull flag. And on the weekly, it's also shaping up really nicely. So there's the big base over here, right? And uh, we've been consolidating right below resistance level for three weeks now. So this one's ready to break out. And I think if this one breaks out, it has a lot of room to the upside. So this is a really good risk war play that I'm watching. And uh, yeah, it has the first major resistance all the way up to like 53. So yeah, a lot of room to the upside for this one. Um, yeah, yeah, this one's definitely one that you want to keep on watch. And then f uh, we'll take a look at Palantir. So Palantir had four weeks of complete upside, right? And now uh, it's forming a little flag here. And this stock is also following the AI theme. So yeah, a lot of money flowing into it. Um, but yeah, Palantir is still extended here, but it has four days of consolidation. So it could form the next leg up. But ideally, you want to wait for more consolidation and just let it rest for a bit. But yeah, this one can also go next week as well. And then finally, Upstart. Upstart also, same thing as Palantir. It has the AI theme going for it. And this one is also a little bit extended, but um, it can also continue going here. Um, 
and yeah really nice volume right on the weekly it finally broke this uh, big base it rejected multiple times here rejected here and now it finally broke out and it has big volume so this one can start a new uptrend and this is one that you want to be paying attention to but yeah overall ai stocks you definitely want to be paying attention to so ai palantir upsd but um yeah that's pretty much it for this week thank you guys for tuning in